Hey everybody, Aaron here, and welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at My Hero Academia's second season, episode 24, or episode 37 if you're going off Crunchyroll. So, yeah, you know, I haven't slept yet, um, and part of me was like, you know, I want to go to sleep, I'd, I'd rather just wake up in the morning and watch this, but at that point I was like, I looked at the time, it was already 5.30, and I'm like, might as well watch it. I, just, I needed to see this episode, because I've been, I've been so hyped for the battle between All Might and Deku and uh, Bakugo that I've been eagerly anticipating because I've heard from people that this is supposed to be like one of the cooler fights of the series and they weren't lying this was an awesome fight you know it wasn't the best of the series and I don't know about the best but it definitely had some of the most emotions we've gotten so far so the fact of the matter is uh, you know Bakugo he, he's such an asshole like that's that's the one thing I hate about his character is he's you know even at the end he still he still treats Deku like crap and I, I get the whole point of it I get the concepts of, behind it but it's like, wow, dude, you are such a dick to, to, to Deku. Like, come on. Deku, basically, this whole episode wanted to run away. He didn't want to fight All Might, and I can't blame him. I mean, All Might is the embodiment of what he is, but, at you know, at the peak. And it's like, you, you know, what are you going to do, fight against that when you, you have, like, no chance in hell of winning, most likely? Meanwhile, Bakugo obviously wanted to fight. And so it was kind of cool to see how their failing strategies did not work at first, obviously. Uh, both of them got their royal asses handed to them by All Might who was holding back a lot but he at the same time was going full out when he was attacking them which was kinda of funny like he held he held back initially at one point and then it looked like he just went you know what I'm just gonna go full out I mean he even hurt like at the end of this episode obviously we're skipping ahead a little bit but he even hurt like Deku by the by almost busting his back up essentially and you know the recovery girl got pissed off at that for the fact that he doesn't hold back that's 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 all might's nature you know he he went into the role of being a villain because he wanted to see where these kids had progressed and you know he was surprised to see that they got a lot better and for the most part even though they had a horrible team up for the beginning of this episode near the end it was a little bit better obviously they decided to go with the kind of flight and the fight and flight strategy where they would hit him then they would run away to get to the escape point but obviously it didn't work it was more so luckily that uh, Bakugo stepped in used all of his power instead of using the grenade cannons he had because they were destroyed by All Might went full on with with his powers and it was interesting because we've actually seen like glimpse of that like what he can do with his hands so far but that's the reason why I, I, I completely forgot about that was he had those um, grenade things on his hand to kind of uh, reduce the amount of damage he did with his arms but when they were you know kind of taken away from him he went full on with them which was kind of cool um, but this episode was just freaking amazing the, the animation was excellent the, the whole fight was awesome the music was great uh, you know, Deku punched all my other face really hard, which is awesome to see. Uh, you know, it, it was a fitting conclusion. I, I really love the narration by Deku at the end too, which I thought was really cool about how they all kind of had different revelations in this fight. You know, like they realized what their weaknesses were. They realized what they can do to overcome. You know, their their worst at their worst when it comes to like fighting a general. And they also realized some of them, for example, like the electric guy and the one weird. I want to say like she's you know the, she looks like an alien but I always forget her actual name uh, they realize that they have a lot of learning and to do you know they they have to really kind of step it up um, but yes this was this was an awesome episode I just have to say that again uh, so by the way guys and girls I do apologize if I sound a little tired or I look I look out of it I am tired um, but I'm gonna stay awake for a little while longer obviously I figured to do the review because I wanted to just have it when it was fresh in my mind I didn't want to wait uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review nonetheless. If you did, you know what to do. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I have a few other reviews today. I think, um, welcome to the ballroom I have later out today. Uh, and then, you know, probably Kakaguri if it comes out tonight at a, at a reasonable time. Um, and then maybe I'll see if I can get to, um, Kirby Kiri Cycle because that episode 7 dropped out like three weeks ago and I didn't even realize that. So I'll try to get that out, to, uh, probably today, hopefully. Uh, Recreators obviously is done, so that's not coming out. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Have a brilliant, blessed day, everyone. God bless you all. Bye-bye.